All right, guys, we are about to do the infamous ghost town in the sky. Now, I'm already feeling it, and we're not even up most of the mountain yet. As you guys are gonna see, that is what we gotta go up. And I have a massive water energy drink. I got Gatorade, but we're ready. But I'm already feeling it. I went really not chased today. What's going on? So this is his, what, second time doing this? Second time. Second time doing this, so we're uh, we we're gonna get it done today and we're gonna have a great explore and we got a great video for you guys let's get into it just think of it like this it's a good workout right I know I know great workout <sighs> just like 30 seconds hey, hey. remember Ranger Rick's video no he was crying on his way up. He was crying. Oh my god. I was crying on my way down. See, going down is the easiest part. When I came here, dude, mm -hmm. all this is overgrown. You take five steps, you look down at your feet, ten ticks crawl up your feet. Nice. So this, is, yeah, this is a breeze right now for me. Also, this is a wild, they cut up here. It used to be like this, dude. If I was a cop, and I caught somebody here, I'd be like, you have two options. You either come down the mountain in my police cruiser, but I arrest you, or you walk back down the fucking mountain. And I don't know you were here. I'd walk back down. Oh yeah, because this is fucking torture. Let's make it up there, we'll take another minute. Yeah. I told you this is a two or three hour thing. Yeah, so that's I know. now we're coming down. All right, oh fuck this break right here. Here you the top right here. I think we're just gonna do a break every time we go up to zigzag. zigzag. Yeah. Don't fucking push yourself, dude. I know. Slowly but carefully. This is fucked. My heart is beating so fast, it's like five minutes. It's about to get very steep. I know. What would you say, are we halfway up the mountain? No, not even. I think we're nearing about a quarter of the way. A quarter of the way, oh god. That's being generous. This is no joke, and I'm a fit person, but I was not prepared for this. Show them on what you got left. It's scary. It's worse in person, trust me. Oh, it's worse in person. The camera does not do it justice. Again, why did I choose this as a hobby? Why did I think this would be fun? This is not fun. I'm tired, in pain. I wanna go home. There's gonna be a lot of these. Oh my God. I forgot how bad this was. It's all worth it, bro. Whoever said hiking and climbing is fun, they're a liar. Apparently four signs of this no break all the way up. Oh, you're fucking lying. This is worse than the island. No. This is just as bad as the island. When you get up there, you'll agree with me. It's worse than the island. Now I understand why nobody ever comes back. Exactly. Everybody shows up like us and thinks that the mountain's not that bad. Yeah, like that shows it on Google Map and oh, I could do that. Once you get here and see it in person, you realize what a mistake you made, but you're already here. So fuck oh, yeah. it. And then you never fucking come back. That tower... That tower looks like it's about to fall down. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. That was what used to bring people up here. Yeah. And now we have to suffer through manual labor. I would have, yeah. If only that thing was still operational. Oh, yeah. When we come back down, I think I might just roll. Right. <laughs> just slide down the mountain. We're going to break down the dice and peace, I won't lie. It's always nicer going down than going up. Yeah, this is when he's really steep, dude. Oh, that was steep. Oh, you're gonna be crying, trust me. Oh, yeah. I see we're about one third up now. 
Okay. You got two more of those. Here you go. Hey, we're nearing it, dude. Holy shit. I know. We're about halfway at this point. Yeah, we're almost there. Okay. Good easy. I knew this was going to take about an hour to get up the mountain. Yeah. An hour if you're fucking quick. I swear to God in the Lord, I will never come back. I know I said I'd never come back. But I'll never come back after this again. <sighs> this place fucking sucks. Thank God this is the last trip of the, of the or last yeah, explore yeah. the trip, dude. Let's get to the top of this and take a break. You all right, though? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Stay with me, Alex. Positive attitude. Positive vibes. When you get up there, we're going to take like a half hour sit down break. If I make it up this hill without throwing up, it'll be a miracle. I've been, fighting, right. I've been fighting the urge the entire way up. I think Brian said he made it about this far and he started vomiting. Yeah. I think I was a little bit further up and I started vomiting. <sighs> this ain't it, Chief. What do you mean? <laughs> this ain't it. Don't lie, you love it. Sadly. You know, my shoes are falling off. Need no exploring boots. <sighs> Damn, they almost drank that whole fucking thing. Yeah. I'm getting too old for this shit, man. I think we got like six more yellow poles to get past. That's not bad, too. we got past. Yeah. No quitting now, dude. No fucking quitting now. Hey, well, guys, we're almost at the top. You can see we're at the finish line. Chase, how do you feel? Like shit, but I'm excited. I drank an entire 50 ounce thing of water. I drank one of these. I drank one of those. Now I'm on Gatorade and not sponsored. Uh, man, am I tired. All right. Home stretch. We're at the top. How do you feel, Chase? Tired but accomplished. I'm beat. Take the Incline Railroad or take the chairlift to fabulous Ghost Town in the Mile High Fun Park. Ride all the rides as often as you like. One admission price includes all rides and entertainment. Every minute is action-packed as you experience the excitement of the Old West. Ghost Town offers a day of fun and thrills for the entire family. See all the shows, ride all the rides for one admission price. Get set for the greatest in family entertainment. Hurry to Ghost Town in Maggie Valley, North Carolina, where the fun never stops. This mountaintop amusement park was wildly popular in the 70s and 80s. It opened in 1961 and closed in 2002, followed by a series of owners that have opened parts of the park for a short time. Ghost Town in the Sky was famous for its Wild West theme, live action shows, and beautiful setting on top of Buck Mountain at 4,600 feet in elevation. After parking and buying a ticket, visitors rode the chairlift or incline car two-thirds of a mile up the mountain, climbing more than 1,250 feet in elevation. Ghost Town was divided into several towns with different themes including Indian Village, Mountain Town, and Mining Town. 
The most popular section was the Old West Town with saloons with can-can dancers, a jail and businesses along the main street that was the site of hourly gunfights. The very unique theme park was created by R.B. Coburn and built for $1 million, opening in May 1961 as an immediate huge success. At its peak, more than 500,000 people visited each season. While new rides were added through the 1990s, older rides began breaking down on a regular basis. Basis. After visitors got stuck on the chairlift in 2002, Colburn closed the park and put it up for sale. The amazing mountain views were always a big draw. Ghost Town was sold and reopened in May of 2007 after millions were spent on renovations. During a bad economy that brought high gas prices, the park closed again after the 2009 season due to a massive mudslide in February of 2010 and financial woes. One of the original owners, Alaska Presley, bought the park back in 2012 with plans of transforming it to Ghost Town Village. However, she faced challenges and was only able to reopen sections of the park for a short time. It's been fully closed since then. As of June of 2023, there are no significant updates. The Ghost Town in the Sky property in Maggie Valley is still locked up in litigation, with no news or on ownership of it reopening or being sold. Now. Join my friends and I as we explore what's been left behind. You're leading. The leader. Yes, sir. Always make the one who's done it before I go. Exactly. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Sir. I gotta take this slow, man. I'm seeing stars. I'm seeing fucking stars, dude. We did. Enjoy it. We did it. We did it. <sighs> How bad was that one out of ten? It's like, it's like an eight. That's a nine. It doesn't get much worse than that. It's like, did I put my body through hell? Yes. Do I want to kill myself? No. That's a high key to roam, man. Yeah. You know, this mountain is taller than any mountain in New Hampshire, Vermont, yeah. New York, or Maine. Oh, yeah. You're just like totally tall. And look at how gorgeous that is, guys. I need two minutes and I can do the rest. <sighs> Guys, oh, I'm so out of breath, but <sighs> look at this. Guys, look at the roller coaster. Right on the side of a mountain, dude. Wow. Here's a better shot of the eye. Uh, of the loop-de-loop. -loop. Wow. Look at this cart, guys. This is an old wagon. It's definitely seen better days. Look at this, guys. We are on the top of Ghost Town in the Sky. This is wild. I'm, so, I'm sorry the first part of this is probably gonna be me out of breath because we just hiked up an entire mountain. But let's check this out, dude. We got a giant loop-de-loop -loop roller coaster here. 
on the side of a mountain. I'd be too terrified for this. I already don't like roller coasters enough, but on a freaking uh, mountain on the side of it, not cheap, that ain't it. But look at this, it's this entire western themed amusement park. It's like we're in the wild, wild west. We got what seems to be a stuffed animal. This looked to be like a, like a shooting range for like BB guns and stuff here. You can see all the targets and everything. But look at this, we got bullets here, bullet shells. Wow. We got like legs of a mannequin that have seen better days. I think that might be this guy right here because I didn't see he's torn apart. But this is cool. 10 shots, 50 cents. That's cheap. This is a really cool uh, countryside, little uh, downtown, western town. I, I don't even know what I'm trying to say, but it looks like you got your little different uh, scenes. It looks to be like a house on the end. It looks to be like a yard in the middle. You got the fence, you got the door. There's like a, what looks to be like a dog house or something. And then we got like this little mountain cave area. That's pretty, uh, that's pretty cool. Over here we got games. Over, look at this. We got ski ball. We got whatever game that is. I can't, and it looks like a, like a, there's like a trash can. So it's like a trash can kind of game. We'll see what it is. It's probably like a throwing game. Ooh, let's see if I can get a good one. Nope. Look, there's even tickets on the ski ball uh, games. <laughs> it's a cowboy boot right there. Let's see what this is right here. This looks, oh, I think I know what this is. It's like you have to push the ball and if it touches the, uh, the, the button at the end, the lights go off and you win. And I see this is where the, the balls are coming from, the colored balls for like a ball pit kind of thing. In the trash here, I guess these go up, and however you, uh, however many you get in, the score goes up, and when you win, the lights go on. Can alley? There's a cat. I wonder if there's like a cat that pops out in these trash cans, and like you can see, it's like the goal is to try and hit it. This must have been like a kitchen area, where everybody would uh, kind of just get their food. There's graffiti here. People have been coming here, trashing it. Cheers on the on the, the windowsill. We got broken out glass. More of the balls that are just thrown around here. This is a crazy like saloon kind of thing. This is really empty, but I guess people came up here, ate their food, and left. The register has been torn out. Ghost town of a crane game. This is this is cool. It's, it's completely destroyed though, which is sad. Right here, we're exiting out of this. Outhouses, so those are the restrooms. Oh, let me adjust. Got the outhouses here, so these are the restrooms. We got another destroyed uh, wagon over here. It's like somebody came over and ripped it off. Oh, is this like a cowboy? Like a, like a vest? Oh wait, that's like armor. What? Yeah, that, that's like a chest plate. It's so cool. Oh, look at this. We got like a DVD here. What's this? Can't really read that. It's an old movie. This seems to be like storage where they would have like, whether they would have just like horses, mannequins, or something just for the aesthetic. But it's a cool little mill wheel where the water would go. It would be turning and it would be uh, using the water to generate power. I'm, my energy is drained. I might fucking pull out that energy hungry. drink, dude. I know, we're not eating lunch today, boy. Yeah, no. Save it for dinner. Yeah. Kind of the only way up to there in the town. But we will hear them coming up that mountain for sure, so... Stick anywhere but pavement. Get okay. away from the pavement because they will drive on it. Okay. You'll hear that engine from a fucking mile. Away. So we're doing six flags. Basically, essentially, yeah. We're doing six flags. This is cool. This is the gondola drop off. Look at this. All the. Look at that. The whole way up, I guess. Uh, I 
guess they took all the chairs off that. Yeah. I didn't see any chairs on the, on the lift up. You know, they definitely dismantled it when they closed the park down. You know, places like this, I wonder why they let this stuff sit. I would auction it off or something. I know. Wish we could have uh, taken this up. Yeah. Instead of hiking it. It's been out of order for some time. Yeah. We got the main controls in there. There's a nice shot of the uh, the roller coaster here. In this little thing right here is the little gondola control room. You can see in the thing right there and through the window and this is where it would operate it up here all day long bringing people up and down the mountain or maybe this wouldn't that wasn't a gondola that was just like the uh, the control room for it another control room let's also go up here to see what's up He's a madman for walking up here. Oh wow. This is an even better shot. Look at this. This is so cool. We should start moving to the safe area. This is risky being over here. Yeah. It's another like it seems to be like where everybody would have their food and everything, their drinks, concession stands. Yeah, that looks like a place right Moonshine Manor. I know Moonshine Manor. Looks like another amusement park ride that was torn down. Right over here. This is where they would uh this was a bus they would ride up and down the mountain. Wow. There was two of them. There was the gondola and there was the bus. Look at that. That looks like way too new of wiring. Yeah. Does not look like that looks brand new. Yeah, it does. Wow. I wonder if somebody cracked it open and it was protected. Yeah, it was probably cracked because look, the outside is really worn down, but the inside's yeah, good. The inside's fine. Yeah. Let's go up this way. Look at this cliffhanger. That's the name of the ride. Let's go up here and let's look at it from the from the waiting line. Look at this over here, guys. This is an old fire truck. Look, you can see the engine in it. This is so cool. It's a really old fire truck. The, the transmission, the e-brake, there's another, like, the cars we drive today, we would not be able to drive this because it's not, it's not like a stick shift and it's not like an automatic. There's like two, I believe on these ones, because of how old they are, there's like two shift knobs for your transmission. You have to do one thing to release the gears and then throw it in gear and lock it, something like that, from my understanding. This guy's the car guy. Yeah. I don't know anything about it. <laughs> I know what's wrong with it. It ain't got no gas in it. You can see where the, the coasters that people would sit in for the rides. <laughs> there's one over here, off the coaster. Wow, look at how badly decayed these are. This is a little maintenance shed. All the tools and to repair whatever needs to be repaired here. Looks like a brake disc on that uh, that table there. This is cool. Huh. Crazy. Even like tape and stuff are still on the walls. Let's go up here. Look, you must be this tall to ride. Chase up here. Look at this. Wow. This is a. Uh, this is really cool. It's it's eerie to see stuff like this just in a decayed state. It's like this is where families would come. They would bring their kids, like teenagers, all their friends would spend hours here. And now it's just sitting lifeless. What was something but nothing but laughter, screams, and fun is now lifeless. I 
Look at that. There's moss growing on the seats. That's what this side. Uh, how long this place has been sitting. It's a, uh, it's wild. It's, this is definitely something that is hard to portray over video. So there's a very different feel because I've watched a video of this place before. I was like, oh, that's so cool. Abandoned Midwestern uh, like world. But then actually standing here, it's just like, it's, it's such a different vibe to actually be in this place versus watching it over the internet. Look at this, guys. Over here, we can walk on the actual, we can walk on the actual uh, roller coaster over here. I feel like I'm on top of the world. Oof. That is a, uh, this is a non so pleasant feeling. Be all right. No, I know. I think I ruined my fear of heights, or not ruined. I think I beat them yeah. uh, throughout this trip. This is as far as I'm going. I'm not going down there more. Cheese, get cheese, get cheese, get cheese, get cheese. This is very sketchy. I would come down No. Where are we off to next? We are heading over to the town town. The town town? There's a church up there. Ooh. Just gotta be a little careful. This is an active road. The one we're, we're about to go past? Yeah. Okay. If they drive on this bus, they definitely drive up yeah. to town town. So we should be on our toes. You know, I'm so tired of hills today. Oh yeah. I'm enjoying these ones as much as possible before we have to go back down. Before we have to go back down. Probably an hour later. Okay. And you must believe I'm not looking forward to that. <laughs> We're exhausted, guys. This is this is another bucket list explorer of mine. So I'm really happy to be here, and this is, this is definitely one place that I would have loved to see active before it went abandoned. I hope they save it. I know. Me too. Here we go. All right. Now we're in the main town. Trading post. We had a silver mine casino. And here is the money shot. All right. Ghost town in the sky, baby. Let's get out of sight. Let's do it. I don't think they drive up in the actual town. No. It is beautiful. Look at this. Even a little old railroad. I'm sure there's like a railroad like kind of ride thing. Population is 681. Altitude 4600. Oh my god. Oh my god. That is insane. They're up 4600 feet. Oh yeah. <laughs> sure as hell feels like it. Dude, it looks oh, like... Man. You this know, is a lot more wrecked than when I was here. Dude, you want to know what's funny? This looks like a showdown, the aftermath of a showdown. Like, is, you yeah. got the bo like the bodies of people, mm -hmm. of the mannequins that are hanging and look like they're dead. It looks like a massive, massive uh, western gun fight just happened. They used to actually stage uh, gun fights here, right here. Yeah. But. That was all real, but this is so funny. It was a day and this place was a lot more trash than when I was here in my 
sure. a lot of people do know about this spot. But it does surprise me how well it is, but that's also because of uh, how difficult it is to get here. It's very difficult yeah. to get here, so... This is so cool. Oh, wow. What? That collapsed. Oh, really? Ten months ago. Wow. Doesn't shock me. Wow. That was not like that. Huh. Maybe people haven't been. Yeah. You know the windows are broken. You know, it's yeah. Like, it's like blown up on TikTok. Oh, it's so windy. It feels great. Look at that. Look at this view. Wow. This is wild. <laughs> yeah. Look at that. Yeah. You won't see like Let's go into one of these buildings. Which one are we gonna go into? Hold on. Windy Corner Ice Cream Parlor. Ooh. Oh wow, look at this. <laughs> this is a wild ice cream parlor. You can see the, the cups, the Pepsi cups are still here. Soda machine, the iced tea machine. I just, I love this so much. Like the design, the old western vibe. This is definitely one of my, one of my favorite explorers. And a lot of the saloons, they're just kind of pushed in the back. Like all the chairs are pushed in the back. You see the windows are broken. Wow. Let's go into the red saloon. Oh, this is sick. What? Look at this, it's got a stage, it's got a piano. Oh, this place must have been so cool back in its prime. Look at this. <laughs> this is so cool. An old timey piano, somebody be playing. I'm sure that there'd be uh, performances being, like shows being performed on top of here. You can see there's the stairs that goes into the back room for it down there. But look at this, look at this stage. Oh, I love it so much. This is my favorite room. <laughs> wow. I'm like sad that I've never gotten to experience this in its prime. Person. Like, this is absolutely crazy. Look at this bar, this old timey saloon bar. Let's see how much their prices were. Red Dog Saloon, soft pretzel, $2.99. $2.99. 75 cents. These are not bad prices. Everything nowadays is like eight bucks. For a, for a chicken tender and a drink. I love the old timey bar vibe. I would, I would thrive here. This place would be so cool to see like in, in person. Not in person, but like back when it was active. You can see this is the church. Go into the church here. Oh. Oh, what? Dude, this is a crazy church. You can't have an old western town without an old timey church. The wooden cross. I don't want to see the view outside. Wow. Get a whole view of the park. They have these two crazy pianos in here. <laughs> this isn't even, this is a little bit more of an interesting piano. It's got like extra buttons on it and everything. This is cool. This is so cool, guys. Oh, there's even a third piano back here. Wow. Triple piano. Walter's Piano New York. This is so cool. And I just, I love the, the wood design on the inside. It's nice, bright, feels lively. This is really cool. No 
mountain? We got two kids coming up the mountain, but they're kids. Okay. So we'll probably run into them on the way down. Okay. Um, right, perfect. I doubt they'll even make it up. Yeah. Yeah, they, they left like five minutes ago. I'm like, hey, they're, they're young. They might make it, but they might just like fuck this shit. And it's like I do. Yeah. Right well, thank you for letting us know. Yeah. That is awesome. Okay, perfect. Um, yeah, we're, we're going to probably wrap up here and uh, start heading down. All right, guys, let's show you some of the cool parts here. This, guns, this gunsmith gun, uh, store, guns, ammo, dynamite. This looks really cool. I want to see what's in here. It's probably just going to be storage, but... Yeah, that's... That all looks like utility and stuff, but the outside's really cool. Harness and wagon repairs. Oh, this is cool. Harnesses. I don't know what for, most likely. I'm gonna guess horse riding, but wow. Look at that. <laughs> That's so cool. It's like literally walking, whoops. There we go. This is so cool. It's like it's literally walking out of a, uh, or walking in a, uh, a, um, it's like walking into a western movie. Or walking through a western movie. We got some casualties here, some bodies. Let's see what was in here. Mm. Nothing. Probably was like an apothecary kind of thing. Like, there, let's read the top of it. And there's nothing on top. But. Now, let me correct myself because I'm literally missing every important thing. We fixed broken wagons, so it's definitely for horses and like all that stuff. Wagon repair, harnesses for the wagons. Oh, look, coffin door. And an actual uh, coffin. <laughs> wow. Look, cowboy boots. This is cool. <laughs> uh, most of these rooms and everything, they're just kind of shoved into, like all the stuff is just shoved into a corner. It's not really like, it's not really much to them. But look, more cowboy boots right here. We got another, another coffin. That's really cool. Over here in the main part of town, I feel like we'll get more of the cool stuff. Judge M.E. Finham. Yeah, this building's really, really cool. It's, I don't know what this would be. I'm assuming the inside is just going to be nothing, but... Yeah. This is just probably a gift shop. You know, all this window smash, all the glass is smashed and everything. It's exactly what this was, it was a gift shop. Let's go to this over here, the general store. A completely trashed gift shop again. So you know, you know what's really cool is that I guarantee that they sold old western cap guns. Actually, I think this is exactly what I'm talking about. Yeah. Ring caps. That's cool. Oh, look at this. Is this a postcard? Oh, yes it is. Hell yeah, dude. I love how there's postcards here. It's always a f that's always so cool. And again, yeah, like what I was saying, like how I love that. Like as a kid, my favorite thing were cap guns. And so, to come here as a kid, I would have been in heaven. Just like all the Western, the old timey vibes and everything. I love that stuff. So this is really cool. This is so cool. I'm not done yet, dude. Is there we more of those? what? Is there more of those? Yeah, I, I uh, yeah. There's a, over here. Let me have one. Oh my god. Yeah, those kids that were going up didn't make it. They came back down. Really? <laughs> oh my god. 
We're pretty much uh, fin finishing up this part. A bee just sw swarmed in my face. We got it. Look at this. These are all the stores here. Somebody made it look like the dead body's hanging from that one. So it goes down and got Southern Shop. Yeah. Old timey photos. Let's do a quick walk around back here and see if there's anything. I have a feeling it's just gonna be the back of the stores. Nothing like on the other side. Yeah, that's exactly what this is. Alright, we're walking over to the final part of the park. Man, huh. that's sick. Yo, those are mint too. Look at this. Golden Spur Games. Look. Aww. Prizes. Aww. Look at that. Let me down that so you guys can see it again. This is really cool. All these old games. Look, we got even got a horse riding game. People can race each other. We got a basketball game. And then just storage in there. I know we said I know we said before, I don't know how this place can uh, yeah. <laughs> like, I don't know how like I know we said before we don't know how this uh, place is gonna like how it just couldn't bring in enough money. But it's also you gotta remember it's kinda small. If if you're someone in the area and you constantly come here, it's probably gonna be old fast. Yeah, exactly. Because there's not many like rides. It's just like I've only seen like three or four. Yeah. So yeah, Dude, look at this. This Viking game. Here, actually. We'll, we'll look at that on the way back. Yeah, we're gonna come back for it. Look at this part over here. Look at, look at how that collapsed. That's there. I can't even speak. That building in front of us is just really collapsed like that walkway. But from the looks of it, I see why we don't see much of this part of the park. Kind of just bleh. Iron Horse Barbecue. This is just another restaurant. Yeah, this bus is really cool though. I wonder if they shuttle bus people also, like up that road. Probably to like other areas of the park. Yeah. Ghost Town, Ghost Town in the Sky. Look at this. Yeah, wow. This was definitely a. Shuttle bus. Yeah, shuttle bus. <laughs> These are the same taillights for my Wrangler. Really? Yeah. I say we walk around and we go to the ride and then we come back. Alright. I doubt anything in here. That's what I'm saying, because this is because it said it was a barbecue thing, so this is just a restaurant. We've already seen them all. Looks like a lot of places all these buildings have been ransacked. I know. Long ago. This is cool right here. The spinning ride. Oh this is it would come up and then you would do it on the like it would have you go on your side. This is really cool. Wow. Yeah, this is something Chase has never seen before. Because one shot Chase over and over. We're changing that around. I always joke with this kid because when I first started exploring with him, all he wanted to do was to get the main shot and leave. Spinning around, around. This is a very, very common ride. Get a little bit of this over here because you can see the uh, this is a drop like that raise and drop ride. That's really cool. Looks like we got another town over here. A dance hall, music, Fort Cherokee outpost. I'm sure the dance hall is just going to be an open room where they had everybody dance. Clearly, it's like. I am so exhausted. I am so sorry. I am so exhausted. It is very hard to think. And I know for a fact my, my sentences are going to be gibberish at times. But, uh, yeah, this, this place is really cool. I definitely, 
This had a lot more stuff than Six Flags, but I would still take the Six Flags experience over than this one because comparing this theme park to Six Flags, this had a lot more stuff left behind, but I would still take over the Six Flags experience, or I would still take the Six Flags experience over this because one, it was well, one not as demanding when it came to getting in. It was still a hike, but I did it with my entire friend group. We had we had a run in with dodging security, and and it was just it was it was such a well executed explore that it's going to be a memory forever. Like, this is gonna be a memory that is gonna stay with me forever. And even this one here, it just sucks because Kyle was supposed to be here and he couldn't make it up the mountain. So we're, we're doing this video in honor of Kyle because we're gonna get him up here one day. Here, let's go up here. Let's look at this ride from down here. Wow, this is really cool. I hate these rides so much because of my fear of heights. But look at how like sun-baked these are. Uh, they're just sitting here rotting and decaying away. It's really a shame that something like this isn't going to be, or most likely is not going to be saved. Alright guys, well, I think this is going to be it for the video. We got the full rundown of everything here. I think we ran through this park, we got everything that we wanted to see, and this is the end of the trip. It's definitely gonna be a bittersweet moment because this is the first time I've ever done a trip like this where I'm hitting nothing but spots for more than, for like 10 days straight and I'm in a completely different part of the country that I've never been before. It's not over yet, but this is, this is definitely a memory that I'm never gonna forget. I'm just glad I got to do it with the friends that I did this with. Unseen Explorer, exploring with Nomad, really with Chase. This would have never been possible without you guys and this was a hell of a trip. I love you all and we'll see you guys in the next video. Woo. All right guys, we're gonna make this a little quick because it's raining right now, but this is the bottom of the ghost town in the sky. As you can see, the ticket booths were right here. We got a little horse and carriage, but this is the one part that I wanted to show you guys. Over here is where they would shoot up to the top. This is uh, one of the train, train tracks that would go all the way up there on this ride. It's crazy. So you either had a gondola or you had an actual cart that would take you up to the top. This has been Ghost Town in the Sky. And we're finally leaving.